Oh. It's beautiful, man. It's so good. I see you when I reach. Right? Oh. I like the uh, I like the playing games and the wine is next to yours. I do that a lot. What, what game? What game? Um, I play Final Fantasy. Right. And I got my haircut like that because I brought it in like that. That's not a real person. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> You're not a real person. No, I don't feel like that. You're from somewhere else. <laughs> Ryan and Jasmine, what are you going to play first to your last song? It's like a breakup song, right, bro? Mm -hmm. <laughs> as pathetic as that is. <laughs> um, I should tell it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 was going, what, was, what was happening in your life at the moment? Well, it's actually kind of an interesting phase, a chapter of life where you, you're not a kid anymore and you, you move to like a metropolis with a, your first love and you get a shoebox apartment and you go to Ikea and you, you kind of, you discover adult sex. You know, like that, that deep, mature thrusting that only happens like in your early 20s. So she, you know, she was very, she was very big, we were very in love, but love does die and the heart does close. And so at that point, um, I wanted to pursue music and she didn't know what the hell she wanted to do. So I kind of convinced her to leave the country. Like, <laughs> go gather some life experience, go to Australia or Thailand. She's like, yeah, okay. And uh, it was a very calculated, uh, premeditated, mature, responsible, amicable breakup. And so she went, thank God. And. Uh, <laughs> She would foam like every night, right? Because we were still connected. It, was, it wasn't so much like a guillotine, it was more like a, a, a very methodical surgery. And so you're, you're connected, you speak a lot on the phone. And um, she's so far away, different time zone, right? That matters. So it kind of felt like a phantom, like a, a ghost. She felt like a ghost in my life for like six months. And I felt haunted by this dead relationship. And um, the, the phone calls, they just stopped one day without even like talking about it. And it was like the phantom had emancipated. I don't know. <laughs> so I wrote a song about it, which is actually totally not true. I attached that meaning after the fact because I know I'd be in situations like this where I'd have to say the song is about something. <laughs> Ghosting a long ghost in your house, ghost in your arms when you're tossing, when you turn in your sleep, it's because I'm ghosting your dreams, and this is why I have decided to leave your house and home. I'm haunted. You Sidekicks, you don't need treats, and you don't need tricks, and you don't need me. I've been ghosting, I've been ghosting, a long ghost in the world, ghost with no home. I remember. So afraid, and this is why I have decided to leave your house and home unhaunted. You don't need poker guys for sidekicks. You don't need treats, and you don't need tricks. You don't need treats. You don't need tricks. You don't need no Halloween. Don't need treats. 